Hello once again. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is your brother Victor bringing the wonderful good news to you. Our today's reading is taken from Romans chapter 8 verse 1 and it says, There is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus, who walk not after the flesh, but after the spirit. Praise God. This is the word of God to you and to me and to the whole world. He says there is no condemnation for whoever that is in Christ Jesus. So, brother and sister, if you are in Christ Jesus, I know that you have a past. All of us have a past. But I want you to understand that you don't need to be condemned by your past. Everything that happened in your life before has been wiped out by the power of salvation. All you have to do to know the power you possess and from now onward and walk in the glory of the word of God. That's why he said that whoever come to God have the power to become the sons of God. Remember he said he came to his people, but his people did not know him. But as many as receive him, he has given us the power to become the children of God. That is the word of God. That is the word of God. If someone is in Christ, he is a new creature. All things has passed away. So don't let the devil to condemn you. He is an accuser. He is the one accusing you. He is the one that bringing all those life you used to live before to accuse you. Remember, the Bible says that he is the accuser of the brethren. We overcome him by the testimony in our mouth and the blood of the Lamb, the blood of Jesus Christ. So, brother and sister, you are overcomer. So don't let what you used to do before troubles you. Now you are in Christ Jesus. All you have to do, not to do them anymore, and learn how to walk in spirit. That's why I say, those who does not walk according to the flesh, but walk according to the spirit. Then you ask me, how will I walk according to the spirit? Simple. You can only walk according to the spirit when your spirit is alive, and your spirit can only be alive after you are born again for you to be able to feed your spirit with the word of God. Just like our brother Peter said, now that you have come to God, desire the sincere milk as a newborn baby. This is all you need to do, the word of God. The more you know who you are in the word of God, the more you know that you are no more condemned. So that is why it's very important as a child of God for you to discover all the inheritance you have as a child of God. One of them is that there is no condemnation for you. So, brother and sister, I encourage you today. Paul says, one thing I always do is to forget what is behind me and strive forward to make my future better. May this one be your motivation in life. To forget those things that God has already wiped out and be able to use the word of God to put it in your path so that can shine a light unto your way and be able to walk in the fullness of the glory of God in your future. So when you look what God is doing in your life and look where you are coming from, then you will glorify our Heavenly Father and say, wow, I hope I bless someone today. May you continue to remain blessed in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ as you learn how to study the word of God day in, day out. And I pray that God will continue opening your eyes of revelation to flood you with the light so you can continue understanding all the secret things of God as you learn how to study the word of God. I encourage you, study the word of God. And may God continue to bless you and your home in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Till next time I Lord again, on my own side, is bye and remain blessed.